Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Savings with Stephanie. I apologize again. Apparently, I time it just right to go to Walgreens when the sun is setting and it is right in my face. So, I apologize for the awful, awful glare, but you are not here to see me. You are here to see the deal. So, let's talk about Walgreens this week. Last week was an amazing, amazing week for Walgreens. I hope you guys racked up. I hope you guys scored so many great deals and earned all that Walgreens cash. I know I added so much Walgreens cash to my account, so I am excited. If you did the promotion that if you did three deals, so if you did three days worth of deals, I believe it said that that extra $25 will be in your account 14 days. I'll look it up and I'll post it below, but I think it was 14 days that we'll see another $25 hit our account if you did three transactions last week. So, I know I did, so hopefully you guys did as well. So, this week we are going to start spending that Walgreens cash. So, we are going to see what deals and Walgreens did not disappoint this week. They added lots of more new, lots of more. That's a, that's a new word. Lots of more. <laughs> lots more new deals this week. We've got Axe Body Wash. We have got shampoos and um, conditioners. We've got so many new deals this week and it's a new month. So great things going on at Walgreens that we can spend that Walgreens cash on. And don't forget, check your Ibotta account because that is a way to redeem some cash back. Walgreens cash, we can only use at Walgreens, but Ibotta, that is money that goes back to us. And we can actually, once you get $20 in your account, you can put that into your checking account. So that is something to keep in mind if you wanna get that cash and put it into your account is to look at Ibotta and see what rebates that you can use at Walgreens. That so you can use your Walgreens cash to pay for some items and then get some of the money back from Ibotta. That's one trick. Another thing that I have um, seen some people do is if you've got photos or if you need things, Christmas will be coming up before we know it. You have Christmas cards that you need to buy. You can use that Walgreens cash. And as always, Walgreens is great about putting stuff on clearance. So don't forget to walk around your store, look for the orange tags of things that are on clearance and see what items you might need. We're about to go back to school here where we live. So you might be able to pick up some school items. And I know there's some I bought a rebates on some of those school items. So there's lots of ways to utilize that Walgreens cash. So enough about Walgreens cash and what to do because I know the sun glare is horrible. We are going to go into Walgreens and we are going to get some deals. I did one online transaction and then I believe I've got three that I'm going to do in store so that I can use some of these register awards that we're going to be getting in some of that last week. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to be a part. All you have to do is click that red subscribe button and then that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I post new videos. And as always, I will have a printable breakdown below of all these deals that I'm gonna discuss in store. So please check that out. It will be below. You'll just click on that and then check to make sure you have the same coupons and digitals that I have. So let's go on into Walgreens and see what deals we are going to get tonight. All right, here at Walgreens, we can pick up this Olay, the ribbons one. They are on sale for $7, and when you buy three of them, there is a $5 digital that is attaching to these. So that will take off the $5. So when you purchase three at $21, taking off the five, you'll pay $21, excuse me, you'll pay $16. Then submit your receipt to Ibotta, and on Ibotta, you will get $2 back on each one of them, making your final cost $5 for three of them, or just $3 for each one. Another deal you can do is almost like the Olay, but this one is on the Old Spice. So when you purchase three of these at $7, you will pay $21. There is a $5 digital attached to them. So again, you'll pay $16. You'll get back $5 in Walgreens cash. But then you'll submit your receipt to Ibotta, to Ibotta for $2 back on each, making these $1.66 each. We have a deal here at Walgreens on the Set Guard hand soap. It is two for $5. And then we have a $1.50 digital attaching to that. So you'll pay $3.50, but then you'll get back $2 in register rewards, making them $1.50 for two. My store only has one, so I won't be able to do this deal, but this is a great deal if you can take advantage of it. 
We have a digital on swab that is a four dollars off of two. The one I'm going to do is for the swab for men because it's one of the most least expensive. On in store it is three seventy nine. Now I will tell you online it was two seventy nine. So I do recommend doing this deal online or at least checking to see if it's less expensive online at your store. So at three seventy nine, the second one will be half off at a dollar eighty nine. That will total you five sixty eight. You'll use the five dollar, excuse me, four dollar off the two digital, which will make it a dollar sixty eight for two of these. If you like head and shoulders, there is a special this week for six dollars on this head and shoulders right here, and then there is a three dollar off the two digital. So if you buy two of these, it will be twelve dollars, and then use the three off the two digital, you'll pay nine, but then you're gonna get four dollars back in register rewards. So that will make this. Final cost five dollars, or just two fifty each. My store only has one of the six dollar deals, so I'm actually going to do this one for the seven dollars. So it is going to be a dollar more. Another great deal on men's products is on this Axe body wash. It is five ninety nine, but when you buy one, you get one half off. So we're going to buy two of these. The first one will be five ninety nine. The second one will be two ninety nine. There is a seven dollar off to two digital, which make a final price of a dollar ninety eight or just ninety nine cents each. And lucky for me, my store only has two left. This one looks like it's kind of busted open a little bit, but that's okay. My husband won't mind; he'll still use it. So a great deal on Axe. This is a product that I just like, and since we have so much Walgreens cash that we all accumulated last week, I thought I would go over it. So this Billy's Razor Starter Kit, this is something that I purchased several years ago from some online person that taught me into it, and it is probably one of my favorite razors. So at Walgreens, it is $10.99, and if you spend $20, you will get $5 back in Walgreens cash. So this is a great time to pick up. You can pick up two of these razors, or you can get the razor, some shaving cream, this. I actually picked up two of the um, razor um, replacements. They were $10.99 each and got $5 back online. So that was a great deal. So just a recommendation that I really like these Billy razors. If you are looking for a razor, we're gonna try. All right, just a few more days that we can take advantage. Actually, it says it is good through August the 26th. Last I saw it was July 31st. So what I'm talking about is the Arm & Hammer. Buy one at $7.49, get two free. So we can keep stocking up on this deal. And it looks like my store only has three left. So I'm gonna pick these up today. Okay, the deal that I am putting together, I've actually put this together online. It is if you spend 30 on P&G products, you'll get $10 in Walgreens cash. And I have already picked up this order, but I'm going to go over it in store. I do not see a tag that is saying this, but I've already done it online. I got the $10 in Walgreens cash, so I know it works. These are the items that I picked up. I got one of these car fresheners. They are on sale for $3.99. And then there was a $2.30 digital attachment. And then I came over here and we picked up one of these Febreze small spaces. They are on sale for $3.29. And then there is also another $2.30 digital attaching to that one. And then I've got the Cas Cascade Platinum right here. It is $5.49 and there is a $2 digital attaching to this one. I picked up this large tie. It's regularly $21.99. It is $15.99. There is a $4 digital attaching to this one. And then the other tie I actually added to this, I do not see. It is the Tide Simply. This is the larger version of it, but I picked up the small one. It was $3.49 with a 50 cent digital. So all of those items totaled up to be $32.25. So I was above the $30 mark. The digitals were $11.11, so I paid $21.14, got back $10 in Walgreens cash, making the final price $11.24 for those products. Oh, I actually found the tag for that um, deal I put together that um, when you spend $30, you'll get $10 back, and here it is right there. It's part of the back to school for P&G, so I did find a tag here in the aisle for that promotion that I was talking to you about, and again, that's on my printable list below. All right, there is a cereal deal going on that is if you buy one at $6.79, you'll get two for free of some of the Kellogg's brands. So when you purchase these, you'll pay $6.79 for three boxes. And there is an Ibotta rebate, a dollar 
spot back on some of them but it is on the fruit loops which my store is out of it is on the special k which my store is out of and it is also on the large box of the frosted mini wheat so if you pick those up you'll pay $6.79 and then you'll get three dollars back from my bottom making it $3.79 for three boxes and as a reminder to everyone, go through Walgreens and look for the orange tags. Walgreens is great about putting stuff on clearance. And you can find these um, tags on there that will tell you how much you are saving. They are all through the aisles. And this is a great way to um, buy things with that Walgreens cash that we earned from last week. Okay, guys, I am done with my Walgreens haul. I'm still in the parking lot, so I am actually coming over here to this stop sign, but I got out of the sun so that there is not a glare. But I did do three transactions in the store, and I did one online. All of them went very well. I think I paid one cent on one of the transactions. So stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to go home, and I'm going to look at all the deals. I'm going to show you how I put them together at the register so that I can roll the Walgreens cash and or the register rewards to lower my out of pocket so stay tuned so you can see exactly how I put those together we're back in from Walgreens and I want to go over the transactions that I put together when I first started couponing the hardest thing for me was to figure out how to put the transactions together to lower my out of pocket the most so I'm going to show you how I did this this right here was my first transaction and this is what I did on curbside so what I did on curbside was I did the three old spices so they were the buy three use the um, five dollar digital coupon and then you got five dollars back in Walgreens cash and I did when you do it online you got Walgreens cash back if you did it in the store you got register rewards that does not always work you have to check the account or check online to see if that works but it did on this deal so i did that deal online the second deal i did online was the one that we discussed in the store that when you spend 40 you got 10 or is that the cvs i think it's when you spend 30. i'm getting the two deal the two offers mixed up but this i did go over it in the store so we got the cascade the tide the tide and then the two for breezes we went over that one in the store but i did that one as an online order the gold bond was just a clearance item that i did find online it was on sale for 5.94 and then I had a $2 digital, it was regularly $9. So I just added that one to my cart. And then the Billy Razors, they were actually in the store. If you spent $20, you got $5 in Walgreens cash. But online, if you spent $20, you got $10 in Walgreens cash. So I did do that as a curbside or online order. So those were all the items that I purchased online. And the retail for all of these were hundred and four dollars that was the retail before any sale prices or digitals once all of the digitals and sales prices came off the total for this was 55 and 92 and then I did redeem $50 in Walgreens cash that we earned last week so that helped to lower my out-of-pocket so that made this total five dollars and four cents then I submitted my receipt to Ibotta and submitting to Ibotta, I got $4 back from the Old Spice. So I got right there, that was $4 back, which made this transaction a $1.04. That's how much I actually spent out of pocket. But then I got back $10 from the deal with the Tides, Febreze, Cascade. I got $10 back from the Billy Razors and I got $5 back from the Old Spice. So I actually, plus the 1% back, I got $27.42 back in Walgreens cash by doing this deal. So that was a great, almost money maker if you wanna put it that way on the online haul. So that was the first transaction. I did that one online, placed my order, and as soon as I get to store, I go ahead and pick that up. Sometimes it takes five, 10 minutes for that Walgreens cash to hit your account. So I go ahead and pick that up as soon as I get to the store and pick those items in my car. And then I go and start the deals or the transactions that offer you register awards. So let's go over the next deal that I put together, which was actually just something I needed. And that was some icing. This icing I just purchased because that was something I needed for a birthday party I have coming up for my little girl. It was $3.29, so it was not on sale, but I did have a $3 
register reward from last week that I had not used. So I went ahead and used that. So I just paid 29 cents plus tax for this. So that was just a way to get something that I needed by using a register reward to lower that out-of-pocket expense on that. So I just wanted to show you um, an item that you can get is something that you need. So it's not necessarily just couponing items, but things that you need. So that was my second transaction. So let's go over the third transaction. My third transaction was the Olay, Suave, Head and & Shoulders, and Axe. So I did go over the deals in the store of what digital coupons that I used. My total after everything came off was $36.66. So then I used $20 in Walgreens cash to lower my out of pocket on that. And then I submitted my receipt to Ibotta and I did only get $4 back on the Olay because if I had gotten the three of the Olay ribbons, I would have gotten $6 back, but my store was out of the third one. So I just got the um, this one right here. So that messed up that deal just a little bit. So if you get three of the ribbons, you would have gotten $6 back on Ibotta, but since my store was out, I did it this way to be able to use the digital coupon, but it did mess me up and not be able to get $2 less back on Ibotta, but still it ended up being a great deal. So that total was $36.66 minus $20 that I used in my Walgreens cash. Again, that was from last week that we got. And then minus $4, which made my out-of-pocket for this transaction $12.66. And then I did get back a $5 register reward from the Olay. And then I got back a $4 register reward for one of the items. I don't remember which one it was, but here's the $4 register reward. I did roll my $5 register reward into the next transaction. So that one right there was 16, excuse me, $12.66 for that one. And then my final transaction was the one that I liked the most. So I took advantage again of this Arm & Hammer deal, which is buy one, get two free. That deal was supposed to only go through July 31st, but it looks like they have extended it through this month. So I just keep stocking up on these every single week. So when you do that, you're gonna be getting three of these for just $7 and um, 49 cents. But what I did is I took the $5 register reward from the first transaction and I rolled that into it. So that took $5 off which made it $2.49. So with tax, it made it 301. I used $3 in register rewards, which made this one cent out of pocket. So I got three laundry detergents for a penny. I am so excited about that deal. So a cent for all three of these. So this was my entire Walgreens haul for this week. I will say, if you are gonna go to Walgreens this week, I would check and see when your trucks are coming in. My Walgreens was out of quite a few things, which was completely understandable after the week they had last week. So I would say they did tell me that they had a truck coming in on Tuesday, which is today. So hopefully they are going to be able to restock. The only thing that really hurt me, they were out of several of these. They only, I think this was, I think they only had four of these left. I got the last two acts at my store, the head and shoulders. I did pay um, an extra amount on this because they only had one of the cheaper one. The Olay, they were out. They were out of the um, hand soap deal that I wanted to do. So they were out of quite a few things. However, I still got really great deals. So I would see when the truck is coming in at Walgreens so that they can restock from the event that they had last week. So that's just a little word of advice. Hopefully you guys found some great deals in this because Walgreens did not disappoint. They gave us some great deals last week, ways to get some good savings. And then they have given us some great ways to use that Walgreens cash this week. Hopefully you guys have scored some great deals.